Hey there my internet friends, in today's tutorial we're gonna just learn how do we put a button right here on an event page. So here's our event details. How do we just add a register button right here? So let's jump into that right now. All right, let's talk about how do we add this register button up there? How do we move it up there? So let's quickly talk about what we're going to be doing and sort of conceptualize what's happening. So here is the default layout of every Squarespace events page, which is kind of bland to be honest. Um, but I don't know, works for Squarespace. And I guess it gets the stuff done. I don't want to knock it too much. I don't want to knock it too much. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add a button to the bottom because we have access to this. We can edit this stuff right here. We can't edit this over here. We have no ability to jump into that. So what we want to do is add a button down here and then use some JavaScript to move it up here. So there are two things we need to know. One, we need to know what, how do we target this, and this is just with the block ID, so that's relatively simple. You probably know how to do that. Uh, and then, what is the CSS code for this element over here? Because we need to target it to move the block there. So for this column right here, what is that? And it's actually, I looked it up for you, it's called event item dash column dash meta. So every event page is broken up like this, where you have two columns. This is our event column content, and this is our event column meta. So this is what we will be targeting. So see the code. Let's look at the code. It's very simple JavaScript right here. So we're creating two variables and each one holding the respective elements uh, that I just talked about. One is our button. So we're going to just grab the block ID of our button. We'll just replace this right there. And then this you don't need to touch because it should be the same on every Squarespace 7.1 event page. Um, this is our event column right there. And then we're just grabbing our event column and appending our button. And this append means add as the last child within that element. So add our button as the last child within our column right here. So that is what uh, this code should do. It should just bloop, move it right there. So let's do that. I'm just going to copy this code. Here is my, my event page right here. I'm going to hit edit. And my button already down there. I'm going to add a code block just below our button, at the very bottom right here. We need it to be just below. And then uh, instead of just pasting this in, we need to tell the browser that run this as JavaScript. So that's why I have these script tags right there. And I'm going to paste this in between there. And now the only thing we need to change is our block ID. So again, I'm going to use our block ID finder, super helpful. Chrome tool if you don't have it. I'm gonna copy that and just replace this right in here. And that should do it. I'm gonna hit done save. And now we have it up there. So there is it right there. So if you're curious to learn more about this and coding and all sorts of stuff, I have uh, courses and other tutorials and stuff on my website. So there's more there. Um, but also let me know if you just have any other questions. I love building videos like this. Um, so just anything like this that you have a question about that you want some quick help with, send me an email, a uh, comment or something. Let me know. Happy to help out. Have a good day.